My name's Tony, I'm the head chef of uh, Liverpool John Moores University. Today's recipe we're going to do is a roasted butternut squash risotto. Um, I'll just quickly go through what we've got ingredients wise. So we've got the squash, we've got an onion, we've got some stock cubes, we've got some arborio rice, uh, parmesan cheese, olive oil, some garlic cloves which I've already peeled, uh, some white wine and some butter. So we're going to prep the butternut squash, we're going to get it in some oil and season it up and then we're going to roast that in the oven. It's going to take roughly about half an hour to roast that and while that's in the oven we're going to start building the actual risotto. That's the second stage and the third stage is bringing them all together and totally finishing the dish. So to prepare the butternut squash you need to cut the top off and then cut the bottom off. And where you've got the fat bit at the bottom and it goes thinner, you need to cut around about that area. It's quite hard to get through. Right, so you've got the two parts. You can use a peeler, which is probably the safest. It takes a bit of time to get all the peel off. So I've peeled the, uh, the butternut squash. So using a spoon, just scrape out all the seeds. Get all the seeds out. Right. Okay. So the key, the key to this is when you're cutting something, always trying to find a flat edge. Just gives you that stability. So what we're doing with this is we're going to cut them into cubes. And the good thing about this, one of the reasons why we're going to roast it is uh, you get a really nice nutty caramelised flavour on the squash as opposed to just adding it straight to the rice and cooking it where it, it, it'd break down, it'd colour the rice and it'd go a little bit mushy. Um, we want to get loads of flavour into it, so ro roasting these things is perfect. So nearly cut it now and then all we're going to do then is we're going to just put some olive oil and season it and then we're going to get it into the oven. And the key thing about when you're putting it into the oven is uh, don't overload the tray. So you need, to, you need to give the squash some space in between just so it can, it can catch the heat and, um, and we, can, we can get good caramelisation on it. So you don't need a lot of olive oil, just a, just a dash. Just season it really well. Okay, and just get your hands in and just try and ensure that all of the squash is coated with the oil. So we're going to put these into the oven and these are going to take for that size cube, so the bigger the cube the longer it's going to take to roast. So for that size cube we're probably looking at about 30 to 35 minutes but just keep your eye on it and halfway through we're just going to turn it just to make sure that we get nice, really good colour on it. So this is stage two. So we've got the butternut squash in the oven and that's roasting nicely. So now I'm going to prepare uh, the onions. I've got a pan on that's on medium heat. So we're going to start building, uh, start making the risotto. First things first though, I've got a, a, a saucepan on and it's got two litres of water in. I'm just going to add the stock to that now. Just get that simmering. So you just need to dice the onions. Just going to roughly dice up uh, my garlic. So I've squashed them down so they're easier to stuck to the board. You're going to add your butter to the pan. And you're going to add your oil to the pan. The reason why we use the butter, we get good colour, good flavour from it. But just add a little bit of oil to it and that'll stop your butter from burning. So I'm just putting the onions in and the garlic in. So what we've done is we've softened down the onions and just put, got a little bit of colour into the, the garlic. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the rice. Oop. Put all the rice in. So we're going to get the rice in. And what we're trying to do, put it back on the heat. 
is coat all the grains in the onions and the uh, butter and, the, and the, the oil and then so we'll get that up to temperature and then as soon as we've got all the grains uh, of the rice coated we're going to add the wine so what we're going to do is once we've had the wine we're going to we're going to cook it till the wine evaporates um, and then what we're going to do is the stock that we put on earlier we're going to gradually add a ladle of stock at a time um, each time that ladle of stock evaporates add another ladle and just keep stirring your rice until uh, you reach the consistency but i'll show you that when we fit towards when we're finishing the dish I'm just going to turn that up now. We've coated that and I'm just going to add the wine to it. You can hear that sizzle. So we've got the wine in. Just keep moving it. And what we're trying to do is just dissolve that wine away. As I say, the alcohol will just will, will evaporate from that and we'll be left with, with that flavour. So what I'm going to do now is add my first ladle of, um, of vegetable stock. So with each ladle of stock, you want to keep stirring it and until the stock has evaporated. And once you've done that, add your next ladle of stock. Um, we've, we've worked out that it takes roughly two litres to cook this rice. But what I would do is, just as you're adding the last ladle of stock, have a little taste and the consistency and the texture that we're looking for is not mushy but it's got an ever so slight bite to it because when we add the butternut squash the roasted butternut squash and we add the parmesan cheese to it that'll just finish it off so the next thing is i've, I've added all the stock to the rice i'm gonna combine the uh, butternut squash with the rice continue cooking and then add uh, the parmesan cheese Just gonna put that back on the heat for a minute. The Parmesan cheese is going in. Just mix all that in. If you're vegan, you can get a, a, a vegan style Parmesan cheese that you can use instead. Um, yeah, so you can use that as an alternative. It's probably not as good as the normal one, um, but you can still get that texture with it. So what we're gonna do is just gonna get it back heated up. Make sure we've mixed all the uh, butternut squash and all the rice uh, all the um, parmesan cheese is all mixed into the rice and then what we do is we switch it off and we leave it for like five to ten minutes and what that allows is the rice to just suck up every last bit of the stock and really um, get the cheese coat in each grain so as you can see now we've let that rest for ten minutes and you can see some of the butternut squash is breaking down into the rice actually colouring the rice a little bit but you can still see quite a lot of large cubes so that is done now we're ha I'm happy with that before you before you serve it just check the seasoning whether it needs more touch more salt and, and pepper that's the finished dish um, we'll also be sending out uh, ingredients for a uh, apple and walnut salad uh, to be served to be an accompaniment with it that's it roasted butternut squash risotto with uh, apple and walnut salad. Thank you.